Today we're going to make a cootie catcher or a fortune teller that will turn into a monster at the end once you do the cootie catcher and then when you do the cootie catcher you will end up with a monster but we'll talk about that at the end. So, you're going to fold the paper. Now, if you are at a, pl I'm, I have scissors here. You don't have to use scissors. I'm going to show you a trick. So if you don't have scissors, you can do it like this too. So I folded the paper so that it made a triangle. A perfect triangle. I didn't go too far over. I went right to the edge. It made a triangle. I have this extra paper that we need to get rid of. So I'm going to show you a trick that you can do. Without using scissors. If you don't have scissors. So I'm folding it back and forth a lot, as you can tell. And then when I rip it, I took a little piece off, that's all right. So I open my paper and then I fold it this way again. So I have a double fold to each corner. So I went this way, and then I went this way. Then I'm going to take each corner and fold it to the middle. Choose me a square. Then I'm going to turn it over. And then I need to take each corner and fold it to the middle again. Make sure those edges are creased nicely. And I'm going to turn it over. Now you're going to write on your fortune teller. This is the one I already made. So the shapes are the shape of your monster, the body. So you don't have to use my shapes. These are the shapes I came up with. If you want to try a triangle monster, you could do a triangle monster. If you want to do a blob monster, you could do a blob monster. I'm going to do a blob monster for one of mine. And a one eye. And then I'm going to do a circle monster. I'm going to write two eyes. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do like a burst monster. And remember this is the shapes of the body so you can be as creative as you wish. Three eyes. And then my last one I'm just going to do an oval just like I did on that one and put four eyes. And then you need to turn it over. This part of the, the fortune teller are different types of faces, tails, antennas, or legs. Um, so I have fangs, smile, scared face, long legs, horns, wings, antenna, and tail. So I'm just going to do the same thing. And it doesn't matter if you write the words going this way, you write them this way, whatever way you like. I like writing them on a diagonal. So I'm going to write tail, fangs, smile, scared. long legs and you don't have to use mine you can use different ones if you prefer different ones horns uh, wings 
And what's my last one? Antenna. And then I have to open these to write on the inside. The inside are things they're doing or attributes to them, extra things you could add. So on the inside, I put superhero. And again, I just like writing on an angle that's up to you. You can write them straight across if you'd rather. <coughs> Crazy shorts. Running. Hat. Relaxing. Huge feet. And jumping. So then you have to fold it all back up. Oh my gosh, this paper to draw my monster. So when you put your fingers in the cootie catcher or the fortune teller, whatever you want to call it, um, you have to get your fingers in there and then you have to kind of fold it up. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick a number, just like a normal fortune teller, if you've ever done one of these before. So you would pick a number, which is the number of eyes and the shape of the body. So I'm going to pick one eye and the blob for my first. So I'm going to use a pencil because I'm going to color it eventually. And you can draw your blob however you want. And you can draw your eye however you want. But it was one eye. I gave it eyelashes and a blob. Now, because it's only one eye, I only go one. Now, if, it, if I had picked four, I would go one, two, three, four. But it's only one, so I just open it once. Inside, it says fangs, smile, antenna, or horns. You pick one of those four things to draw. So I'm going to pick a smile. I'm going to give him a big smile. I'm going to give him a tongue, too. And a little cheeks. So I give him a big smile. Now I'm going to spell smile. S-M-I-L-E. And I'm here again. So I could add fangs to my smile. I could add antennas. Or I could add horns to them. I think I'm going to add antennas because he looks cute. Okay, so then I have to spell antennas. A N T E N N A E. Then I look inside. Tail, scared face, long legs, or wings. I think I'm going to draw a tail. T A I L. Now I've done one, two, three, four. So this is my last attribute. Now I pick one more thing. Uh, I'm going to pick the long legs. And I'm going to make them wavy legs. Then I have to do long legs. L O N G L E G S. Now for this one, instead of drawing, you're going to pick a side to open up because I've done five times. So I'm going to pick this side to open up and it says hat and relaxing. So I need to draw a hat on him. I think I'm going to try to draw a baseball hat.
and I erased so it's not see-through. So I drew a baseball hat. I'm going to draw some feet down here. And I'm going to draw him on a towel. Like he's laying out at the beach, relaxing. And I could add designs to my towel. And my monster is done. So if I had opened a different one, it may have said running in crazy shorts. So I may have had to draw some running. I would have had to draw his legs looking like they're running. And then I would have had to draw some shorts and some different shoes. This one would have said flying. So maybe I would have added some wings and made him look like he was flying and added a cape. Because he's a superhero. Alright, thank you. Um, I will add my picture to the end of my video.